I recently entered the 2020 Copic Award competition. It's a massive competition that's held once a year in Japan, I believe, by Copic themselves. And you guys know me, I love using Copic markers, so I really wanted to enter this competition, draw something cool, and hopefully win. The major winners have not been announced yet, but the finalists have just been revealed. So I'm going to be having a look through, see if my artwork made it, and also just talking about some of the finalists, and sharing some of my opinions on their artworks, and saying if I think they deserved it or not. Because maybe I'll be really bitter about my entry not getting in, and someone else's beating me. <laughs> Okay, that's possible. <laughs> it's worth mentioning I was actually one of the finalists in 2017, but I wasn't a major winner. So this was my chance to get revenge and be the major Copic master of 2020. But before we look at the finalists, let's have a look at some of those juicy prizes, because they really have some good prizes for this competition. Look at that massive set of Copics. My mouth is just watering looking at that. I want to win that so bad. And also you could win a trip to Japan for the award ceremony, which would be freaking awesome. But a certain pandemic uh, put a halt to that, <laughs> which is a real shame. Did I just sound really unsympathetic there? Almost as if I've already looked at the finalists and realised I haven't won. Ah, damn it, did I just ruin the suspense? Let's have a look at some of the entries anyway. There was a mass of entries for this competition, so anyone else who entered and didn't win, don't feel bad. Look how many damn entries there are. So here is my entry, okay? Let's have a look at it. Let's see how many likes I got. There we go. There it is. Let's have a look at some of those details. Well, I got a whole 11 people like this. I know. Really impressive. I went with a really artistic and poetic comment for this artwork to get you in the mood for it. Let me read it for you. <clears throat> Sunset in autumn. A gentle breeze is passing through a cluster of silver birch trees, their leaves the colour of fire as they are plucked gently by the wind. A wooden path leads through a clearing to a strange structure that is illuminated from within, beckoning. Yet this home has no door. Now that is poetic, not pretentious at all. Now I know a bunch of you guys are probably wondering, Jordan, what the hell is up with this artwork? It's an architectural artwork, you normally draw horror and anime style, this is really weird. The reason behind it was, when I entered the competition in 2017, I did an architectural drawing as well, and I thought it'd be fun to revisit similar themes and give it a shot to hopefully win. Plus, it was pretty obvious one of my gory horror drawings stood absolutely no chance of winning in this competition. Most judges just wouldn't like that. It's unfortunate, but that type of artwork rubs some people the wrong way and they're just not interested. So I had to try and come up with something I thought was a little bit unique that would stand out from the other artworks and give me a better chance to be at least one of the finalists. Something which probably didn't help me out as much in this competition, there was no categories. So while you could define your artwork in a specific category, they weren't judging the artworks based on their category. So last time when I entered, I won the design category, but this time categories didn't matter. So I was just up against everything, which was a big reason why in 2017, I decided to draw an architectural house because me being the super intellectual realised less people would be interested in drawing design based artworks because it's generally not as fun as an open category, you're more limited. So I was sneaky and did a design based artwork to give me a higher chance. That's what you gotta do to win these competitions sometimes. <laughs> but in 2020, I didn't have the luxury of doing that, so I would have to rely on my artistic skill to win. Ah, damn it. Let's have a look at the finalists and see how I did. Yeah, I'm not hopeful. Copic Award 2020 finalists announced. A five member panel of judges has determined the nominated entries that will be moving on to the next stage of the Copic Award 2020. One of the judges commented, Damn, Jordan Persigardi's artwork was amazing. No, they didn't say that. They should have though. They said all of the artworks were excellent, and it was very difficult to choose the finalists. It was so much fun seeing all these entries, especially Jordan Persigardi's. He should be the grand winner and greatest Copic master of all time. Well, that's what they meant to say, but I think the quote was mistranslated from Japanese to English. I like the minimal colours, it's very atmospheric, a little bit depressing. 
This is a bright artwork. Interesting technique, no line work. It's different, I quite like that. This one's interesting, uh, different. And this one kind of looks similar to that one as well. Just the art style. This one's probably a bit more out there. Definitely interesting. I don't know what's going on, but they're both kind of similar. It looks like the same person could have done them. I know they didn't, but the style at least. Next up, this is cool. Interesting techniques, a little bit depressing. And whoa, that is lots of details. Lots of details, it makes me hungry. I think this one's really cool. It's so different. It's a really interesting art style. I love the little characters, the colors. I like it. This one, again, no line work. A lot of them, a lot of the artworks don't have line work. Maybe the judges like that. It's a soft looking piece. Again, quite like it. You can see some of the pencil sketch underneath, which is unusual. Very artistic. Looks like a photograph drawn. Again, not much line work. Interesting technique. I keep saying it's interesting. I feel like a lot of these artworks, this one's a pretty awesome manga picture. They feature different techniques, so I've got to appreciate at least the diversity like this. So much colour, it's cool. Some nice techniques on the skin tones here. There's so much colour to it. Subtle colour, I quite like that. The background, yeah. <laughs> this one's colourful as. Again, lots of colour. This is kind of scary. I'd definitely be concerned if I ran into this thing in a dark alleyway. Here we have another anime drawing. It's really clean, nice colours, just really well done. And here we have really Picasso style artwork. I don't think they've discovered that Copic markers actually have a fine brush tip on the other end of the chisel tip. <laughs> I'm kidding. I know a lot of people are going to hate on that artwork because it's simplistic in its style. You can tell someone pumped that out in 10 minutes, but strangely enough, I don't actually hate it. I kind of like it. It's one of those artworks which is really divisive. Some people think it's ingenious, and other people think it's not detailed, it's a bit scribbly. But that's art. And like I said before, I've got to respect the different styles that are included in the finalists. I've got to respect that. Some people will be bitter. I get that. A little part of me is bitter. <laughs> but I still kind of like it. So it's all good in my book. Next up, we have this delightful little bird in gumboots. This is adorable. You could totally illustrate a kid's book in this style. And this is gonna get me demonetized from YouTube. You could have at least put another lily pad covering the other nip. Flower drawing? But yeah, not my favorite winner. I'm assuming these are the younger entries. These ones I'm looking at right now, they've gotta be the younger. Now this is actually pretty awesome. If this is a younger person who did this, it's awesome, you should win. But the other three, mm, this is cool, like the style. Some really solid colouring techniques in this. Again, no line work, keeping it realistic. And what is this? Really? What's that little dude doing there? I feel unsafe. I'm still thinking about that little green man. Is it meant to be an alien? I feel like there's some deep story behind it, and I'm kind of curious now. Maybe one day we'll unlock the mysteries of the green man. These cats are cute. <laughs> I like that. Interesting, I suppose. Now this one's really cool. Awesome techniques, nice colors. Kind of reminds me of Fortnite. Not that I like Fortnite at all, but the colors are cool. I've checked out this guy's artworks, some different ones, and he creates some really cool stuff. Love the style, really unique, like it. This is pretty cool as well. This is an eyeful. It's good, lots of detail. This one's clean. This doesn't even look like it's done with Copics. It looks like a pastel artwork. I mean, I assume it is done with Copics, but it's interesting, quite different. Some cool techniques there, really chill, nice water. Some inkblot effects. This is a nice artwork, lots of good texture, lots of character. This is a cool artwork. I remember seeing this when it was submitted. I've checked out this guy's art on Instagram. He does some other really cool artworks and I feel like this probably looks even better in real life. Lots of good colour use, interesting concept, well done. This looks like a really cool poster, I do like it, really artistic, good job on that. This one's awesome techniques, he posts a lot on Instagram as well, a bunch of different artworks, similar style, really cool lighting effects and really clean, I like it. We've got an abstract line work drawing here, it's cool, something different, just a black and white artwork. And this is the complete opposite from black and white. It's got pretty much every single color ever invented. I really like this blue one. I imagine it's really hard techniques here. There's so much subtlety in minimal colors. 
It reminds me of Spirited Away. The old grandma down the bottom looks like the witch in Spirited Away. I really like that piece. I think it's awesome. This is cool. Again, minimal colors, insane detail, but really maximizing pretty much just two colors there. This is really awesome technique. It looks like something from Crash Bandicoot or Ratchet and Clank. I love it. Awesome contrast, awesome colors, awesome design. Really well done. Someone turn this into a video game. This one looks like a Tim Burton stop motion movie. It looks awesome. I really love the style. Got that little mold down the bottom. It's really cool, lots of character. This is a nice artwork as well. Sad tiger dude. Sorry, tiger. And what is this nightmare abomination? It's cool. I don't know if I'd want it in my room though. It's kind of scary. I kind of do want it though. It's a cool doll. I like that. I'm disturbed, but I'm enjoying being disturbed. So that, my friends, is the collection of finalists. I didn't make it. There are some awesome artworks there, so I can't be too mad. Some of them, well, okay, I think are questionable. Let me know in the comments which ones you liked the most, and which ones, nah. I was gonna say which ones do you think are the most questionable, but that's a bit negative. I don't wanna throw any more shade at the little green man. <laughs> He'll hunt me down and haunt my dreams for the rest of my life. But jokes aside, a massive shout out to Copic for holding this competition, and I hope they continue to do so for many more years to come, because you know damn straight, I'll be back. And one of these years, I'm gonna win. Thanks for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it. It's a bit different from my regular content, but if you enjoy scary drawings, horror stories, definitely consider subscribing because that's what I usually make and I upload new videos every week. And as always, a massive thank you to my patrons who support my YouTube channel and enable me to keep making these videos. Thank you guys so much, and I'll catch you in the next drawing video. I'll see you then. Bye. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. But I do have a very particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. If you subscribe to Jordan Persicardi, that'll be the end of it. I will not look for you. I will not pursue you.